Thank you, Austin. That was Highbrow Sydney. Thank you, Austin. That was Bama Cat. Oh, by the Bama Cat Syndicate. My training style might differ from a lot of the modern trainers. A lot of modern trainers uh, have a pattern on a horse, have a lot of control. That works for them, and that's a good thing, but it's not what I'm, I'm not able to do that. I was taught uh, from the very beginning, uh, my dad taught me how to, how to work a cow. And, uh, you know, I learned watching Buster Welch and uh, Ronnie Rice, Pat Earnhardt, guys like that. They taught me as I was growing up. Uh, the style that I like to work. I like for a horse to be a cow horse and I feel like a horse has to be able to take over when things aren't fitting perfect. When things fit perfect it's easy to have a lot of control on a horse. A lot of times when these cows we work today the cows are bad and uh, you know a horse needs to be able to think for itself in my mind and it works for other people but it's, it's just, it, working a cow is what's made me successful. But I like to have a horse Little neck rein around. I'm just using my outside leg a little bit. He's feeling that right rein on his neck right there to where he's getting off of my feet. He's really listing good. Neck rein right around here. Got my outside leg on him again. And I'm just going to push him into a stop. Sit down. Back him up a little bit. Get him off the bridle a little bit. That's all I'm going to do. But every time I work him, I'm going to do that same thing where he gets into a familiar pattern. Won't get a little long, I'm going to shorten him up, slow him back down. I'm making him work that cow that's way away from me right there. Making him find that cow. Now he's starting to really let down, his head's starting to come down. He's getting real comfortable. See how his head's coming down right here? He's starting to get relaxed. Now they'll go ahead and move this cow. He's getting real comfortable right here. But my yellow cow right here on the right corner right here is what I want to cut. Now this cut right here is a good example of this cow's not acting very good. Right here I need to keep watching this cow and see how she's acting. I've got her in a better spot. You can see right here she leaves. She doesn't want to stay. Now they're enforcing it right here. I opt off to the very back side. I see a cow back here on the back that I know. This black cow on the very top. I switch off. This cow right here makes my run. Right here, he just wanting to blow out there a little bit fast. I keep him slowed down. Just let this cow leave him a little bit. Keep that nose pulled in there. Keep his hip under him. This cow leave him a little bit. I bring him right over here. Let him find that stop again by himself. I don't stop him a lot, but I do hold him a lot. Same thing. Keep his nose pulled in. Keep his hip under him. That cow leave him. Now go catch it. Thank you, Austin. That was Highbrow Sydney. Thank you, Austin. That was Bama Cat. Owned by the Bama Cat Syndicate.